Good morning, everyone. It's Sarah, and it's time for Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. And with you. <laughs> you notice I'm surrounded by some interesting things. My shirt says Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. And we'll be talking about this just a little bit farther on in our video. The main thing we want to do today is our mystery box January giveaway. Ooh, I'm so excited. I love to give away things. And every year in January, I love to give away a box of mystery yarn. A lot of people get yarn for Christmas, I'm sure, or you've uh, maybe got some money and you've purchased some new patterns. And it's always fun to get a box of yarn that you don't know what it is, and it's a mystery. <laughs> so we'll be giving out the winner's name in just a few minutes. Good morning, everybody. I see Rita and Marlene, Paula and Talana already there. Let's go ahead and clink in. We have a lot to talk about today, some things to show you, and so I want to go ahead and get started, all right? I've got a plain white coffee cup, and there is a reason. I'll tell you about that later also. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just clinkity clink in. Clink. And if you don't know what clink means, it's just a way to say, hello, I'm here, friends. Clink. Because you all are my friends. All right. Let's get back over and say hello to a few more people. There's Paula and Tina, Kimberly, Jane, and our other Tina. Let's see, looks like, oh, Audra. Um, <clears throat> I'm real excited about today's giveaway, and there's a couple of reasons. First of all, you'll notice behind me are some shirts and a bag, and I'm wearing a shirt. This shirt was designed by my son, and I gave him an idea of what I wanted. I wanted a heart with a crochet hook through it that looked like yarn. I wanted a coffee cup. And I wanted it to say, Cro Crofty. Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. And um, he designed this. He put it all together. And look at this coffee cup. It's on the side. He found one that has a little swirl that looks like an S, sort of. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show you these. These are some things in the making. And that's the other reason that my coffee cup is just a plain white coffee cup because we're hoping also to be able to put this particular logo on a coffee cup and we'll be doing some giveaways and things like that um, to get these out now <clears throat> we are going to sell them eventually and we're going to keep them very inexpensive it's just going to be the price of the shirt the price of the screen uh, sheets that we have to get in and then to pay the person to put them on whatever we're making shirt bag or coffee cup and I have some other plans in the future I just sort of wanted to introduce them to you today all right um, I will eventually get them listed on Etsy and like I said they're gonna be free shipping and inexpensive because I want you all to have one right and we'll also do some giveaways as well which brings me to today's giveaway but before I do that let's see make sure I say hello to everybody else Teresa and Karen Dana Susan let's see Carolyn Tammy Cheryl Brenda and Susan Fontaine now <clears throat> uh, Kimberly says she likes the shirts behind me and these are the three colors my I wanted the wording to be in teal sort of a bluish sky blue teal and so we decided to go with some colors that would look really good with the teal. All right. Now, for the exciting news, are we ready to hear who the winner of the mystery box giveaway is? Yeah, that's a lousy drum roll. <laughs> All right. The reason I'm so excited about it is, of course, here's our yarn. There's $50 worth of cotton and all kinds of different things. Pull out some different beautiful colors. I'm not going to tell you because it's a mystery. But the other fun thing is today's winner 
is also going to get our first project bag. I'm going to put it inside the bag. And so the winner today is going to get this bag. And this one is made out of muslin. And I'm also going to make some out of, um, I forgot it, canvas. <laughs> My brain kept saying muslin, muslin. This is a 100% cotton bag. I'm folding it up because I'm going to put it inside for our winner. They're going to get all this $50 worth of yarn and a project bag. Great prize, right? All right. Now, something I am going to do is I am going to have some giveaways for shirts and bags as we go along, not today. And I'm going to do them in sort of a pop-up way. Sometimes I'll give it away to someone on Facebook or someone on YouTube, but we're going to do it that way as well so we can get some of these out there. And then once we get everything finalized, like I said, I'll put it on Etsy. We're going to keep them really cheap and inexpensive if you want to get one. All right, are we ready for the name of the winner? All right, <clears throat> I'm excited about this because I saw her pop in. So you're here today. On Facebook live I'm gonna say your name are you ready the name of the winner is Rita Lippert now I might have pronounced your last name wrong the first name is Rita R I T A the last name is Lippert I might have said it wrong it's L I P P E R T it might be French Lippert <laughs> Either way, Rita, congratulations. Now, do not put your email address or your shipping address in any comments. Okay, Rita? If you're still here, congratulations. If you're not, everybody tell her. Because I saw her pop in right at the beginning of the video. All right, now, how you contact me to get your gift, you can do that two different ways. You can contact me on the Posh Pooch Designs facebook page by uh, going to the messages and i'm going to need your shipping address and i'm also going to need your email address do not put that anywhere only in that message that way i can send you the tracking number when i send you uh when i when you when i send your your uh surprise box all right you can contact me that way another way is to go to my web page www.poshpoochdesigns dot com and then up in the corner it's in that corner <laughs> is a tab that says contact me <clears throat> you can hit that tab and it'll send me an email it'll just shoot it right over to my email so you can contact me in those two ways if you have any trouble contacting me you can just comment I'm having trouble you know contacting you and then I'll give you some additional help all right so congratulations Rita you're getting this whole box of yarn and the very first project bag that says coffee and crochet with Sarah I don't know about you but that's pretty exciting for me all righty so that's what's happening today we're talking about this new thing that we're doing and then the giveaway so the next thing I want to do is talk to you about a brand new yarn that I located this week. I was in Michael's looking for a particular blanket yarn that I did not find. Um, it's brand new, so it wasn't out just yet. But I walked past, you know how in Michael's, I don't know if you all are able to shop there. Fuzz. <laughs> this yarn's a little fuzzy. <laughs> I was walking past, and they have like these bins, and they have shelves, and they'll have like the new products out down the aisles, you know. And so I looked over, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and this is what I found. Is this the hilarious thing? That 70s yarn, it looks like a shag carpet. And they have lots of colors. They have like metallics and brights and pastels and all kinds of different colors. This one reminded me, when we were growing up, we lived in a house in Oklahoma and it had carpet that looked like this. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I've got to get some of these and make my puppies a blanket or just some sort of a mat just to see how it works. Now, it is by Lion Brand. Let's see, this one's called Shagadelic. <laughs> I love that, Shagadelic. <laughs> it is a number six. 
It's 95% acrylic and 5% polyester. And acrylic and polyester are similar, but uh, if, I, if my understanding's right, polyester has a little bit more of a plasticky to it. But remember, acrylic and polyester, polyester both do melt. So be careful where you use this. Don't make a hot pad and put a, you know, a hot pan on it or anything like that. All right, it has 3.5 ounces, which is 38 yards. So that's quite a bit. And uh, let me pull a strand out so you can see it. See if I can find an end without getting a yarn barf here. All right, this is what it looks like. It looks a lot like the fun fur, but it's really almost soft like a cotton. It's really interesting. Can you see that? <laughs> I can't wait to work with this. Hopefully I'll get a blanket made. I want to make a mat. My dogs, um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, the front of our house, we have quite a few windows. And in one of them, I have like a little ottoman cushion thing pushed up to the window. Or not up to the window, but next to the window. And the dogs like to sit there. They have some poofs. And they like to sit there and watch people go by. Now, we live out in the country somewhat, so we don't get a lot of people coming by. Mostly people walking their dogs or um, the mailman, UPS, stuff like that. But they love to look out there. They watch the birds and the deer and the fox and everything else that come by. And so I thought it'd be really fun to make them a new cushion. I'm not going to make a poof. I'm going to try to just make it like a big flat pillow and then stuff it with a pillow, which is a really neat idea if you've ever made, if you've never made some sort of a poof, a poof, <laughs> a poof or cushion um, for your dog, you can make it the shape of just your regular bed pillow. And then you can just slide that bed pillow inside and uh, whip stitch the end closed. And the reason that's a good idea is because you can pull that whip stitch out, slide that pillow out, and it has, you know, the, the fabric on the outside of the pillow. So you're not going to have that stuffing everywhere. It's going to stay in that pillow. And then if you need to, you can wash the cover. So I, that, and that's a really neat idea. I've done it several times and my dogs need a new one. So they're going to get shagadelic new po poof. I can't say poof today. Poof, poof, poof. <laughs> Anywho, I thought this was the best yarn ever, and I'll let you know what I think of it, okay, once we get that made. Now, we did do three new patterns this week. My goal for the year was to do the live video and then two different patterns during the week, but I had a request for one, and so I thought I would go ahead and do it anyway, and that is this. These are my lollipop, I call them Valentine lollipops. And they're super duper easy to make. You can make them with your leftover yarns. It can be acrylic or cotton, whatever you have on hand. It needs to be about a number four or possibly a number three. Because remember, number three is going to be a little smaller because your yarn's a little smaller. And they're really easy to make. Let me grab this one because this is the one I did for my demonstration. It's a heart. And you make one for the front and one for the back. Then we single crochet it closed and we leave the back open so you can slide a Tootsie Pop inside. And these are your basic size Tootsie Pops. You can use like, you know, the Blow Pops, kids like those, and different suckers that are about the same size. <clears throat> and they're super neat gifts. If you have like a Girl Scout troop or you wanna make them for all the kids in your class, you can do all different colors. And you can do variegated yarns too. Just whatever you want to do. They're great for Sunday schools or just get-togethers. Have some sitting at your house. And when people come over, just give them one. They'll remember what a great time they had at your house, right? <laughs> and so someone said, do you have a, a cover for a Valentine, uh, a sucker cover for a heart that I can use for my Sunday school class? And I said, well, I had one in mind. I'll just go ahead and do it. So I did. <laughs> All right. Now, the next thing we did was I did an update on our V-Stitch market bag. It's a nice big bag. I've got it in a liner. I just used white cotton. And if you want to make a liner for it, I do have a video on how to make a liner. You can just go to my YouTube channel up in the playlist and just put in how to make a, a bag liner and it'll come up. And I, I don't always use them in this bag, but I wanted you to see the stitches. And it's just V-stitches. It's really pretty. And I used the Karen Cotton Cakes for this. And it's not 100% cotton. I think it's like uh, maybe 60-40. I can't remember. 
It's mostly cotton, but I like it when they blend the, the cotton and the polyester together because you get a sturdy bag, you get a bright bag that's going to hold its shape, and it washes up really well. And so that's our V-stitch market bag. I wrote the pattern back in 2011, and so we decided to update the pattern and do a brand new video. And so there's a new pattern and a brand new video on YouTube, the pattern. And you can always find, uh, when you go to YouTube looking for a pattern, you can always find underneath the video is a section. And underneath that, I call it the notes section. I don't really know if it has an official name. But underneath there, you can always find information. If a pattern's been updated, if a video's been updated, um, you can also find where the written pattern with pictures is located. And so um, most of the time there is a little arrow. You can click that arrow or it'll say see more. And you click that little tab that says see more and you get a whole bunch more information. <clears throat> and what I try to do underneath my videos is to give you a place where you can go and find it written. And then I also give you a list of all the links where you can find me and my patterns. Because I'm on Etsy, I'm on Ravelry, I'm on Twitter, I have my blog, you know, um, I'm trying to think of where else. I feel like I'm everywhere, Facebook, everywhere, okay? I've had people say, I can't find you, where are you? And so if you're looking for any of those links, you can find them underneath my videos on YouTube. Now, on Facebook, over on the other side over here, or is it over here? Let me see. I'm trying to look on Facebook. Anyway, there is this, there's a underneath the picture. Underneath, there's a list of things, and it says about. If you want to know all that stuff where you can find me on Facebook, you just click that about, and all that stuff will come up. You can find anything you need to know about Posh Pooch Designs. All right. Now, the other one question I did want to answer, because I do get this question often, and then I'm going to show you our crochet along. Um, one of the questions I get often is, how come your posh pooch designs, but you don't do very much dog stuff? Okay, so about 12, 13 years ago, I started doing dog sweaters, dog hats, items for dogs that were all crochet. And that was where I started. As far as, that wasn't when I first started crocheting. That was when I started online. I opened up um, my Etsy, I had a Craftsy back in those days, Craftsy no longer exists. Um, and then I started on Ravelry, adding my patterns, and we've updated them over and over and over again since then, And um, but I began only doing dog things. And then as I uh, was moving along, people were asking me for other things. And I thought, you know, I've been writing patterns for over 40 years, I'll just get in my stash of stuff and start putting some of these patterns out. And then, of course, I do write new patterns all the time, too. <clears throat> and I have a great group of people that work with me as far as, like, my husband's a great tech. My son, you know, shirts. I have people that test for me, things like that. I have a really great group of people. And so I just kind of went into doing lots of other things. Because the bottom line for me is I love yarn and I love to crochet. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I still have all my dog patterns out there. You can find them on Etsy and on Ravelry. And all my dog sweaters and hats. And there's rugs and all kinds of different things that you can find out there in those uh, shops. But I had that question, so I thought I would answer that real quick. It's in my notes. Sometimes, you know, I bring my notes, but sometimes I, my notes are out of order. Or I do them out of order. <laughs> all right. So the last thing I want to talk to you about before we head out today is yesterday we did our first um, washcloth of the month for our crochet along for 2020. And I got an interesting email. The, the lady was mad at me because I said I was going to start a washcloth of the month and here it is the 20th and I hadn't started it yet. Well, I put out a blog um, and a page on my blog and on that blog, if you go to my blog, um, which the link is underneath this, the video and it's also on uh, Facebook. Um, and if you go to Ravel, you can find my blog on all my pages. Okay, so on the top of the blog, it says washcloth of the month 2020, I think, or crochet along 2020. 
And if you click on that link, and I also have posted this several places, it has a list of all the dates that each washcloth is going to be released. And the 20th, which is yesterday, was going to be, and is and was, the first washcloth. And so the way the crochet along is going to work is each month I'm going to try on the uh, third Monday of each month to put out the new washcloth pattern. Now, there's a lot of washcloths out there, and I didn't want to just do, okay, the first one is, you know, 40 rows of single crochet. We all know how to do those, and if you don't, go ahead and do them. But, what I, but my goal in <clears throat> our washcloth of the month is to learn some new crochet pattern, uh, stitch patterns, some techniques, and things that we can use in other things. All right, for example, this is our first, the checked washcloth. Here's the teal one that I did for our example. And on this washcloth, we learned how to change colors neatly. We learned how to carry our yarn. And it's all stitched in half double crochets. And it's really, really simple. You could use this stitch pattern to make a hat to make a scarf or a cow, to make a blanket. And I had a couple suggestions to make a checkerboard. Make sure you, you have to add on to make enough squares, but I think it's a great idea. And that's the point of what I'm doing is so you can take these new techniques and they're not gonna be hard. Don't worry about that. They're just gonna be things that we haven't done before. And when I say we, I'm talking about on my channel. There are lots and lots of um, washcloths out there. But what I'm trying to do is do some things that are different and that I have not personally put anything out for before. All right? And so that's the goal. So the next washcloth of the month will be in February. And I don't know the date but it will be the third Monday and um, I've already been working on it and I really love how it's turning out. It's a little bit different, even though it's a stitch that we probably have done before, but maybe not. <laughs> That's a little teaser for next month's cro uh, crochet pattern, washcloth of the month. <laughs> All righty, now I'm gonna let you go. I'm Just to be honest with you, my mouth is just a little bit sore. Um, I went to the dentist yesterday, <laughs> and um, I guess because I'm a mouth breather when I sleep, I get dry inside, so I had some plaque. Not too much, you know, but I, my mouth is small, and I, you know, you have to hold your mouth open, and they're all in there and everything. Don't misunderstand me. I love my dentist. She is amazing, and she has a great staff, and I really love them all. They're really sweet and gentle. <laughs> So anyway, she said she the dentist comes in after they took my x-rays and she says, Sarah, I've got some news. I'm like, oh no, what? She goes, you need a crown. And I was like, I know, right? <laughs> Just like that meme you've seen. She said, um, not that kind of crown. <laughs> so I didn't get the crown yet. Of course, you have to send that in, get your insurance approved. You got to do that several times before they approve it. But I'm really sore over here. It's actually on this side. I put my hand on the wrong side. I'm really sore over here. That's why this side is just a little bit swelled. Because I've got a little bit of an issue over there. And I'm going to have to get a crown. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you in case you're wondering why I'm having a little trouble with my mouth today. <laughs> like that's something new, right? <laughs> well, it's time for me to let you guys go. I will be giving you more information about our new products, which I'm so excited about. And um, if you uh, just can't wait and you want something, you want a bag, you want um, a shirt or something, go ahead and message me and we'll just see what we can do. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I don't, I'm not going to tell you any prices yet because we haven't figured all that stuff out. And I know you're dying to know. Okay, so just a reminder, the first Tuesday of each month, we discuss and I show you unless it's a mystery, <laughs> what the giveaway is. Each month is the first Tuesday of each month. Then you have two weeks to comment on the Facebook page or YouTube. And then on that third Tuesday of the month, 
we announce the winner like today. And again, congratulations, Rita. Contact me as soon as you can, and I'll get that out to you pretty quick. I like to get them out quick. I, and, I, and also, Rita, if you're still watching, make sure you post a picture to, or, or just let us know you got it on the Posh Pooch page or on uh, the group. If you aren't a part of our group, it's PPD Puppy Love Crochet. And it's been that ever since I first started, and that's why it's called Puppy Love Crochet. Because we love puppies, but we also love crochet. Alrighty. And it is a private group because I had some issues with some inappropriate spam. And so we just left it that way. I That way I can check everybody out. Everybody gets in as long as you're, you know, as long as you love crochet. And so that's not a problem. But I love you to post pictures. Same thing with your washcloths. Go ahead and post some pictures. Let's see the colors you chose. Because they're super fun to make. And <clears throat> the colors, I mean, you've got a whole, you know, different thousands of colors of choices that you can put together and the truth is you can use more than just two colors if you want to and I think it'd be really fun to use a solid and a variegated and mix them together anyway you know me you know the creative juices I have going in my brain <laughs> so anyway I am going to let you go for today and again congratulations Rita and we'll see you next week everybody have a wonderful week <laughs>